Hey there, folks. This is uh, Corey Meekshield playing Seven Days to Die as I fall off. Uh, so my running problem is that they, zombies being what they are, run up these stairs and hit that wall. Even though that is solid, completely solid. I have taken upon myself to remove this layer. I've laid all these out. This is wonderful. My problem is these blocks here keep disappearing doesn't matter what I do set them I'm gonna set these and see if they disappear um, I am going to have to structurally support this on the wall under here and I think I'm gonna do that uh, right away so it's very unstable uh, it only does certain things. I tried placing one of those upside down up there and then one of the uh, rebar frame wedge uh, upside down like that and I took that away and it disappeared. So I placed on the wall here wedge tip beside each other and one of those there up there. And I'm going to attempt the same thing on the other side. See if I can get something that they won't get wedged in but still keep them side, uh, away from the side of the building. Uh, apart from making a pillar here uh, this is starting to become quite unstable. So we'll see on the, uh, the other side. So I just jump down and those dark traps are going off and I've been up here and there's nobody up here oh that's why How very odd. So as we continue, I put a wedge tip there and I put the uh, rebar wedge there and on the top I put stairs. Oh. On the corners I put angles. No need for them to call them all the way out. I'm not going to risk losing more blocks that way. And then from here, there. Just one set of stairs there. Just to get them going. And then they'll gravitate that way. If not, eh, they'll fall down. And if we find they are standing there and beating on this corner of the wall, uh, well, that's what the wings are for. There we go. Well, so far so good. This corner structure should be strong enough to support this from underneath. That's what she looks like from underneath. It does have a funny wedge tip, but if they go on it, they will just fall straight down. It's just designed that way. Yeah, I like it. Perhaps this could come in, but I don't think these blocks exist. And here's your final product. So I remove this stair, 
and put it with one outside. Uh, this is a little bit uh, less sturdy as I had hoped ever to be, but it should hold. Uh, I have this structural element in there, and it continues, and there. You can see it. all the way around there. Just something to hang on the side of the building so it does not fall off. And this will alleviate them from hopefully coming and hitting this side here. But they can still hit here, but there's no reason because this is so very thick of concrete and steel. It's, there, there should be no reason why they should do that. But, yeah, it should still get a good line of sight from that. So we'll paint it next. There's a picture of it on another angle. You can see it nicely, nicely cornered. And voila! Hey there folks, it's Horde Night, uh, 6.30, but I've run into a problem. I can't switch any weapons at all, so I will be right back. And we are back, and just before Horde Night. I'm back. I hear somebody beating on something. Okay, and life has a well, life has leadership. We have customers. Ah, uh, look at them come in. We can let the electrical take care of them. There we go. Uh, except friendship, but guys. They dig down. Well, the boom is going uh, do something. Like that.
popping heads. None of that loof balloons. And they are wonderfully not touching that wall. No visible damage. I like that. Pretty design. their head popping oh another one incoming Oh, dude, you gotta accept the, uh, accept the, uh, advice. We gotta, we gotta try hard.
I hear him, but I don't see him. Careful, I see spit vultures. Done. Oh. Birds in the air, birds in the air. I gotta put air support in this place next time. Second set of electrical wires is 300 uh, watts alone. Who went to look?
still got up. Look at them all! They're coming from the other side now. Hillside. Boom, are coming in. I'll take them out uh, in the corridor. Oh no. Oh no. Don't go for the boomers, okay? Oh, oh, oh. Lucky. I gotta electrify this entire field down here. That's my next thing. Electrification. One 
of everything. Up that time. Wonderful. I think we won. Oh, more too.
Ooh. Rinse and repeat. Oh, folks that is the sound of warning doesn't mean that they're gonna finish I thought we I think we won my god and they're still coming in rinse and repeat go make this corridor safe and you go and collect everything in this corridor oh my god this is insane oh yeah we had a couple well, there's a couple stragglers in there but uh we're we're okay uh yeah just go up the the corridor stairs and uh and i will join you Well, there you have it, folks. That was a wonderful Horde night. Uh, my... Yeah. I, I got, <laughs> I'm going to have to do some calculations. It's too late. I can't figure it out. Uh, I think I started 81, 51. So, yeah, 83, 33. Eh, 200 or so. That's not bad. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And uh, join me next time. This is uh, Mitchell playing Seven Days to Die. Salties, Zombies, PvE, Noobs, have a good night.